We're back in the kitchen with Chef Brian Hulahi from the Roaring Fork making one of their signature dishes. It's the skillet cornbread. We've got the trout and an amazing brown butter sauce that's going to kind of tie everything together. So um, just let's backtrack in case somebody joined sure. us late. We started right here. We have our skillet cornbread with some green chilies, pepper jack cheese, a little bit of butter. It's nice and golden brown. Delicious. And we talked a little bit about why it's so great to invest in, in a cast iron skillet if you're really wanting a really flaky, delicious cornbread. Crispy bread. outside, yes. They're fairly inexpensive. You can pick them up at uh, Fry's. I know I had a special on these the other day. Oh, really? Yeah, I actually picked up a couple of myself. Well, um, you should have texted me and said, do you want one? I'll bring one to you I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll get it on next time. And then, but um, this thing, will, these will last you forever. Ever, yeah. I've heard that some people, you know, like the more you use them, you kind of pass them down because they get, they get more flavorful. They get more flavor. They get more seasoned. You just, uh, you don't want to just wipe them out and clean them and just uh, coat them with some oil. Uh -huh. Just lightly brush it with oil and it'll stay seasoned and uh, last you forever. Well, talk about perfection. This, we had, you know, we had a little bit of trouble getting the... Uh, we have now a golden to, brown to warm up, trout. But my, oh my gosh, it, it was worth the, the wait. Yep, absolutely. Because you got it perfect. So nicely golden brown. Uh, we're going to put this all together. Okay. We, since we made all these ingredients. And you said this was farm raised? Yes. Okay, so this is farm raised trout. And we talked a little bit about the differences between, yes. you know, like lake trout and farm raised trout. And you're going to notice some subtle differences. But, um, and so then we, to the butter sauce, remind us what we did. We here. have a little brown butter sauce. And what we've taken is uh, just some butter and just slowly melt it mm -hmm. until some of the milk, the milk solids get. Uh, uh, turns color. And our sniffer is so, going to be the indicator for that yeah. when we're ready. When it smells like, as Andy says, so, smells so <laughs> delicious in here, uh, you're pretty much done. And you're going to add a little lemon juice that we've added. Okay. So the lemon it was added after we had browned mm -hmm. the butter. And what I found so interesting, I told people as we went to break, I kind of teased you a little bit, was this garnish. Um, is that going all over the to top? You. Um, tell me what's in that and how you prepared it. Well, we have some uh, fried capers. Some toasted almonds and little chives, and uh, you can take a caper and just and just fry it in a little bit of oil until it gets nice and crisp. Mm -hmm. uh, they're a little bit briny, you know, a little salty, mm -hmm. but uh, it looks like granola, doesn't it? <laughs> but when you uh, fry it, it just it gets light, it gets a little crispy. They open up a little bit, mm -hmm. looks like too. It's like a little flour. Um, okay, get a little one. crunchy. Stephanie, are you a trout fan? Mm -hmm. Me, shocker that I've never tried trout. What I heard you say, Brian, that it's sweet. Mm, don't get no, don't no. get all crazy that it's going to be sweet. No, 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 no. It's no, not no. like an apple. Okay. It's, just it's not like, like this. On the, on the spectrum of it's not like, like this cornbread a here. Fish. A fish, it would be a sweeter. Yeah. Okay. You know, I know Is where, it I know where her mind goes, and so I wasn't trying to be hateful. Did no. that come across as hateful? No, because you know I like I know that you sugar. were thinking that it was going to be like you were having dessert. No, <laughs> no, I was no. thinking dessert. She's like, oh, fish is served. It's dessert. So our skillet cornbread came out, and you want to let it sit for a little bit. Yes, <laughs> that's good. Really, it's like a white fish. I'm looking yeah. her in the eye. I can tell she's not doing a TV. That's good. And she doesn't eat fish. She doesn't eat like fish. Look, this is good. Watch this. Going back right in for here. a second. You yeah. know what? I Job done. Job well done. It definitely helps that there's all that brown butter on <laughs> top of it. Yeah. Okay, but I'm not supposed to eat that. Is that a bone? No. No, no you're okay. good. No, it's completely boneless. Okay. Oh my goodness. We are so happy. Right. I'm all grown up. All right, happy hour over at the Roaring Fork is also something I don't want to finish this um, couple of minutes that we have without talking about. Happy hour. Uh, yeah, we have a wonderful happy hour. It's uh, all night, Sunday and Monday. Sunday oh, our, and Monday. In okay. our bar. Uh -huh. from, so, so like we say all from night. From 4 o'clock to 10 o'clock. Oh, okay. That's good. And what are some of the features? And then Tuesday it? through Saturday, we're open from, uh, excuse me, we're happy hour from 4 to 7. Okay. And so happy hour is, uh, tell me some of the specials on your happy hour menu. Well, we've been uh, known for our burger. We mm -hmm. grind all in-house, make our own fries, make our own hamburger buns, fresh uh Lettuce, tomatoes, pepper, bacon, uh -huh. cheese, you know, all the good fixings. So that burger that you guys are notorious for. We are notorious for that. We've that been is, known for that. We can, we can get that on Friday nights and any night of the week. Yeah, you can get it in the whole restaurant. Okay. Steph, can I interrupt real quick? I hear that it's like like the burger of all burgers in the valley. Brian's last That's name is Hulahi, right? And so from what I hear through the grapevine is when Brian's cooking in the kitchen, he does a little Hulahi. 
Oh, stop it. Stop Not it. You can call that as if, you, if um, you're running back and forth. So I don't know if we have some music. Well, let's bring up some information first, because I do want to let sh make sure that everybody knows how they can get to the room. No, that's court. important, and then so, this is important. Um, actually, I'm just going to tell you that it's located just a little bit north of Scottsdale. Um, Fashion Chaparral. Square. It's sort of hidden. Right? Mm -hmm. It's hidden down below a little bit. <clears throat> so go ahead and stop by. Ask Chef Brian for that amazing trout recipe, perhaps the cornbread, or even this burger. What's the name of the burger that everybody talks about? Uh, I don't know if I can say it on TV or not. No? Why? It's a big... Oh! Oh! Something <laughs> burger? It's a big A burger? Big A burger. <laughs> gotcha, awesome. gotcha. Well, the recipe for this um, really delicious trout recipe is going to be on CineraLemon.com, and that is your cue. Brian? Get going. Brian, do you look like? Alright, so are you going to go with me? <laughs> this is what you eat after you eat all the cornbread. That's right, yes. <laughs> and and after all these dishes, you have to do with me. Oh my goodness. Come on, shake it. Do your whole I'm, I'm doing it. That's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs>